What's going on guys? It's Fry Blizz here. And in the last episode, we traveled down route, I think it was Route 29, and we caught a new team member called Bolt, and we made it to Olivine City. And in this episode, we're going to be actually doing what our rival Jay told us what to do. He said to go to the um to this tower over here, the uh lighthouse actually. And he said there should be a bunch of trainers up here. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna start off with, okay, never mind, I'm not gonna start off with anyone. I'm gonna start off with bolts in the front. Let me actually check if I actually have an item for him. Um, I could give him the quick claw. Let's see, does anyone need this actually? Uh, I'll just give it to bolts for no reason. I think he, I think he needs it. So, anyways, uh, I haven't recorded in a while, and yeah, I decided to... Okay, anyways, I did a little minor technical difficulty. We have our first trainer right here, and he's like, Hey, this is no place for playing. So, this guy, he's got a knock towel, and that's it, I believe. He's actually, this guy gives you a lot of money, so... If you're short of money, you're gonna have to battle this guy, obviously, but he, you're, in the end, he uh, asks if you want his phone number. If you want the money, I guess you you can keep battling him, and I guess I think the money raises every single time. But if you don't, no, that's okay. Personally, I don't think I need it. I think I'll be fine. So, if his confusions aren't, we're doing actually a decent amount of damage, and Thundershock, even with a critical hit, didn't do that much. So let's confuse this thing and then Thunder Shock and out. Hopefully it can hit itself. And it won't. So yeah. So a lot has happened in the Pokemon world over the past couple of days since I haven't uh, recorded. And well one of the things I actually uploaded, it was like a trailer re-upload, it was the uh Kanto Mega Starter, uh, Mega Evolution Starters thing, whatever you would call it. And, you know, all of them look really cool. Ex uh, my favorite will always be Blastoise out of all three, and I think Blastoise looks amazing now. I mean, it, it always looked amazing, but that just looks amazing now. But I was so surprised to see it, like, look like that. But, yeah, definitely one of the I think it's the best one out of all three, and really, Bull Restore? Okay, well, we're speeding this up. This is battle going to take forever. Um, really? Oh my god, that's not even funny. Okay, well, let's send out Jaws, and use an Ice Fang. Should take him out. Now I'm actually going to have to heal, so... I'll be right back, and, uh, you know, I'll take this guy's phone number because he actually is good for training. So, yeah, I'll be right back, and we'll be back here when everyone's healed. Okay, well, instead of being back in the lighthouse, there's actually something I like to show off here. Go over in the Pokemon Center and talk to this girl. She's like, they're all done. It sure to surprise anyone. She's like, oh, are you a trainer? You came at just the right time. I just finished putting my ball capsule on my Pokeball. Do you want to battle and be amazed by my decoration? Sure. She's like, here we come. And... Oh god, I'm at this piece. Okay, never mind, I don't have to sneeze. Well, she's got a Blossom, and if you saw that, um, like flowers came out of the Pokeball when uh, Blossom came out, so that's, that's pretty cool. I would like to have that, I guess, but I don't really know how to get it. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But, yeah, it's, she's got a Blossom. Blossom is the evolution of Gloom. And I think it's better than Vile Gloom. But, you know, everyone has their own opinion. And But it's really no, no problem or nothing to worry about. It's only level 16, and it's actually a good training for both since, you know, it's the same level. And a Sonic Boom will take it out. And now, wait, 
he's 17. Hooray! And he's learning Key Wave. Yes, okay. Let's see. This is 35. This always inflicts 20. Um. I'll just get rid of Sonic Boom. It's not going to be good. Even though I'm not really going to keep Tackle, I, I bet it will be better than Sonic Boom eventually. Wow, that gave us a lot of experience. Okay. It's like, were you really watching? Yes, I was. So, you know, make it seem like I wasn't. It's like, how cool is it to have it like that? And yada, yada, yada. Okay, so let's heal up real quick. And then we'll be right back in the lighthouse. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, there's one more thing I forgot to do, and I forgot to show you guys. You go inside one of these houses in the town, and you talk to this guy. He's like, Olivine is on the sea. And if that's, and if it's on the sea, there's bound to be something to catch. I finish, uh, yeah, I finish. I fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? He's like, and we're like, yeah, and he's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. We have ourselves a new angler, and then he gives us the good rod. And if you remember back in the very beginning, we got an item called the old rod. The old rod, we weren't able to really get much, but now with the good rod, we could actually get Pokemon that are around our level and are actually good to uh, decent to good water type Pokemon. So you could find like here, you could find like uh, Corsilla, I believe, and what else can you find? You could find maybe, I think you could find Krabby. So. You got this guy too, and he's like, Men in the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. And yeah, he's got a poly world, I think, or maybe two poly worlds. Poly wagon and a poly world, yes. And there's actually, there's actually something I, I also wanted to mention about the Pokemon like, world that's been going on. Oof, excuse me. Um, is that Pokemon Amy thing? Ami? I don't know how to pronounce it. I think I think it's pronounced me, uh, Ami, maybe. Anyways, I don't really get it. It's like Nintendogs, but with Pokemon. Well, not really like Nintendogs, but it's like the fact where you pet it, and you feed it food and stuff like that. Like I saw, I think it was, uh, I think it was John Carlo Power Mango's uh, Pokemon Ami gameplay, and it was. Just like he was feeding the Sylveon in there. I don't really get it. I don't know. It's stupid. You pet it, and I don't know. It makes no sense to me. It's something appealing to the little kid, I guess. So maybe we'll get to actually level up here. No, okay, not even close. He's like, I lose. Uh, lost for the first time in a long time, and no, we won't. Okay, he's like, looks like I'm a wimp. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of trainers actually in here. Good for leveling up bolts, I guess, because they're all most of them are water and flying type, so that's good for us. And speaking of flying type, we have a flying type trainer right here. He's got a bunch of pitches, so I'm just gonna speed this up. Nothing new to us. We're all gonna be one hit KOs for us, I, I believe, actually. Uh, this quick claw is actually activating a lot. It's already activated like four or five times. Really? Okay. Well, oh, there we go again, good law. Even though we didn't need it. And level 19. Well, and then one is level 15. One more. And then level 15. And another quick law activation. What the hell? That's three this fight. I think it was three, or maybe four. I wasn't really catching. Okay, so walk up this ladder, and there is another guy here. I think this guy. For some reason, I feel like this guy has Rattatas and maybe Eradicate. Okay, really off. He's got Growlithe, and we're actually gonna switch out because I don't want to die. And let's go back into Jaws. I don't know why I was speeding, not speeding up there. I just like stopped it. Okay, didn't want to use headbutt. I spent Surf. Okay. There we go, taking him out. And actually, today, later tonight, I'm finally, finally going to be recording some, uh, what do you call it? that game. The Fire Red Nuzlocke thing with, uh, oh, the worst. Obviously the worst. After not recording for almost, like, two weeks, two and a half weeks, it's been forever. Actually, I can admit the past couple days I've been delaying it. 
not really because I don't want to do it. It's only because I've been, you know, just spending, uh, spending time with my friends, just hanging out with them. And, uh, yeah, school started and stuff like that. It's, speaking of school, school actually was pretty good the first day. Um, when I only had to go to school Wednesday. Not, some people only have to do like Tuesday and Wednesday. Some people didn't even start at all. Some people started on like Monday. And I, yeah, like they started on Monday and stuff like that. I only had to do Wednesday and that was it. And then I'm off Thursday and today. And I thought that was pretty cool because, I mean, it, to me it made no sense. Why we just had to go one day and that was it. Why couldn't we just have the whole week off and then just start, uh, like, you know, Monday? But I guess that's, you know, it has to do with the holiday, some Jewish holiday. I forget it was Rosh Hashanah, I think. And yeah, yeah, it was Rosh Hashanah. So, yeah, all my classes are pretty good, I guess. Well, actually, they are really good. And because this is like the first, this is my, I'm actually a senior now, and uh, I can actually say I enjoy, I can, eh, I'm really going to enjoy school this year, only because one, it's the final year, and it's going to be easy, but two, uh, I'm a senior, and three, um, I have like all my friends in my classes, so, and it, I, like, it didn't, just, I didn't like, uh, what do you call it? Like talk to my friends and be like, oh, pick this class, pick this class, and maybe we'll get the same period. No, we, I kind of don't do that. I kind of just do what I wanted to do, and I guess, you know, all my friends did the same thing. And, you know, well, I have a lot of friends, so, yeah, like, it doesn't mean every, like, let's just say a group of five are all in the same class. I mean, like, you know, a bunch of different friends, all in different classes. But I thought that was pretty good. And Bolt's is actually already level 20. And you can see already how good he is, because he just takes so many hits, and he actually has a really good attack, a little special attack, my bet. So let's heal him up, actually. And now he is fully healed. And there's one more item over here. It's an ether, okay. Okay. I think this is it for the trainers. Okay, now there's one more guy, and I think this is it. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, he's like, we're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. And this guy, Bird Keeper Dennis, he sucks. <laughs> yeah, he's just got, you know, nothing that should be any challenge for Bolts. See, Bolts, already in, like, this just this video, he's already leveled up four times. And I'm actually going to speed this up because I don't want to. Ooh, a Furo. Okay, um, I'll slow it down for this. Uh, Furo is the evolution of Spiro. Furo is a very speedy and physical attacking, uh, flying, uh, normal type Pokemon. Very good. It's basically a little bit different than Pidgeotto and, you know, that whole evolution. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a physical attacking flying type Pokemon, Furo is the way to go. And it's just gonna use the attack. So, this is not important. We should be at, take it out with one hit. Ton of experience. And he's got one more Spiro. And, quick claw, yay! And there we go. So, I think that's it for the trainers. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, we're at the top now. Okay, never mind, we're not at the top. There's two more trainers. And this guy, he's like, sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? Well, I'm not a sailor, but I am kind. And, you know, my Pokemon are strong. And he's at a poly... 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 Whirl. And really... Okay, now I'll speed it up. Okay, you know... Not important. And why, like, why is everything hitting like five times in a row? Whoa, that did a lot of damage. And that's okay. That was stupid of me. I thought I was gonna be able to attack first. Um. Okay, let's go into Fuevos. Uh, just use Bullseed. It should be able to take it down. 
Screw you! Holy whoa! Okay, come on, just land the bullets here and wake up already. Thank you. I need a grass move for this thing ASAP. This thing is. Huevos is starting to not be good anymore. Like, it needs a, a really decent grass move, like Giga Drain, Mega Drain, stuff like that. Or even, like, uh. You know, like, uh. Razor Leaf, even though I wouldn't be able to learn it, but, like, a decent grass move. It hasn't learned anything good so far besides like status conflicting moves. But it needs something that would be able to sustain it to be able to attack. I know in a couple levels we actually learned something. But besides that, there's nothing really good for it right now. Like we got the leech seed and stuff like that. That's always good. But let's speed this up. I have a habit of saying that a lot. Let's speed this up. Sleep ladder. Yep, so, sorry for not uploading over the past couple days, I think I've already said this in this video, but I'll say it again. Sorry for not uploading over the past couple days, and... Yeah, just been busy, spending time with my friends. And he's got one more chop, uh, two more chops, actually. And... Sleep powder. And spam bullets. Um, what was I gonna say, what was I gonna say, what was I gonna say? Um, if you could, leave a like, and... Uh, comment on this video if you feel necessary. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. It takes no effort at all to just scroll down a little bit and just click the like button, so I would greatly appreciate if you did that. Um, but of course, these damn poly worlds keep putting us asleep. That just hit the dance. Okay, well, we should be able to take it out now. Thank you for not hitting. Okay, well, there we go. And screw you, mom. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, that's it for the trainers. I know for a fact that's it. Yes, okay. So now we're at the top. And you see this Pokemon. It's an Ampharos. And it's like, pa palu. It's breathing the slight. Talk to this person. She's like, this Pokemon has always kept the sea lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there's a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Ampy unattended. And she like pushes us aside and opens up the store for us, and I guess that means we have to go over there? Okay, never mind. She's like, may I ask you to go to, uh, may I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? And I guess that's what we have to do next, so there's one last item over here. Super potion. So, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. So, in the next episode, we're gonna see if we can make it to Cyanwood and get the the medicine at the pharmacy to see if we can save this Ampharos. Uh, see you guys later.